Hi, fifth grade. Today we are working on a student book, page 234, Packing Mats Marbles. Before we get started, we want to look at the relationship between Matt's marble boxes and Brad's championship baseball boxes. So this is just kind of a visual. You can see the size of the marble and the baseball. But here we see the actual dimensions of the boxes. One thing we're going to need to know for the student book page is how many marble boxes can we fit into a baseball box. So Matt's cube is one for each length. Brad's is three for each length. So if we find the volume of Brad's baseball boxes, oops, so three times three times three. Right, no, three times three is nine. And nine times three is 20, oops. 27 inches cubed. Okay, so we may need to know that as we go forward. So let's look at our page. Matt is ready to pack his marbles into packing cartons, the large boxes, he got from Brad yesterday. The illustrations show the size of an individually boxed baseball and an individually boxed marble along with one example of a packing carton. How many marbles will fit into each large carton with the dimensions and units of baseball boxes below? We're going to show our work. So our first one is a two by six by six. So to find our volume, we're just gonna start. Okay, so to solve this, this is saying that we have two baseball boxes by six baseball boxes by six baseball boxes. boxes. So we are gonna go ahead and multiply out two times six times six. So two times six is 12. We have one more six and then 12 times six is 72. So it's going to be a volume of 72 baseball boxes, but we need to find out marbles. So if we go back, our volume was 27 inches cubed, which is 27 marble boxes because they are one inch each. So we need to take 72, oops, times 27. So we're going to work on some double digit multiplication and I'm actually going to do this to the side so I don't run out of room. So 72 times 27. You can do this with me. Follow along on the screen or you can do it independently and come back and check your work. Okay, so our answer for number one is 1,944. Okay, and our unit is how many marbles? So 1,944 1, marbles. Okay. Number two is two times six times 12. So before we go into a whole bunch of multiplication, I want you to notice from number one and number two, the first number is two. The second number is six, and then it changes. First is a six to a 12. So all this is doing is doubling. 
So from problem one to problem two, all we need to do is double the amount of marbles. So we are going to take 1,944. You can either multiply it by two or add it with itself. So whatever you are comfortable doing, go ahead and do that and we can check our work. So our answer for number two is 3,888, and we're going to say inches cubed. Okay, it would still be the same for the first one, inches cubed, because that's the marble boxes. On number three, we're going to have to do the same thing we did with number one and multiply that out, and then multiply it by 827 from our original volume. So 4 times 5, actually I'm going to do 4 times 3 first because that is 12. Lost my pen, there we go. Then 12 times 5 is 60. So we need to take 60 and multiply it by 27. Again, I'm going to do that off to the side so I'm not running out of room on my paper. If you have room, please include your work. So 27 times 60. Okay, I don't need to worry about that zero. I'm just going to bring it down because anything times zero is itself. So 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 2 is 12. 16. So our answer for number three is 1,620 inches cubed, which is the same thing as 1,620 marble boxes because they are one inch. Okay. On number four, we're doing the same thing we've been doing. Okay, we have, we're going to multiply these three numbers out and then multiply it by 27. So 4 times 3 is 12, or 6, just kidding, and 6 times 8 is 48. Oops, that's meant to be a 4. So we need to multiply that out again. I'm going to find a spot on my paper, times 27. Okay, so 7 times 8 is 56, 7 times 4 is 28, plus 5 more is 33. We're going to place our 0 for our place value because we're moving over. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry your one, two times four is eight, plus one more is nine. We add these up. To get a total of 1,296. I'm gonna circle that because my work's starting to get lost. There we go. Okay, and we just have one more. So four baseballs in one layer with 13 layers. So that is basically saying that four, okay, was the base of, it would be have to be a two by two. Very rough sketch, sorry with 13, so that's our height. So we have everything we need. Okay, we're gonna do what we've been doing and take four times 13. 
So I don't know my 13s, but one way you could look at this is, well, we know what 4 times 12 is. That's 48. And if we add one more group of 4 on that, that will give you 52. We're not done yet because we have to multiply that 52 by 27. So off to the side we go. 52 times 27. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 5 is 35. Plus 1 more is 36. Place your 0 to hold your place value because you're moving spots. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is 10. Add up for our grand total of... 1,404 inches, oops, cubed. Okay, so this was a little extra step because we had to find the volume in baseball boxes and then in marble boxes, but I believe everyone did great. Thank you for hanging on with me and be sure to finish today's math lesson.